Hello, my name is Art Crino. Today I'd like to talk about Amelia Earhart's 1937 ill-fated attempt to circumvent the Earth in an airplane. Seven years later, I was in the Navy. We were pushing the Japanese westward. When we arrived at the island of Saipan, we waited until the Marines had pushed the Japanese away from the harbor. We went in and dropped anchor. I happened to go up on the island and conversing with two off-duty Marines. Right out of the blue, one Marine said, there's a teenage girl here who said in 1937, she was 11 years old and she was taking a shortcut through a sugarcane field when she heard these Japanese military motorcycles coming. So she ducked in the sugarcane field. The motorcycles stopped right adjacent to where she was hiding. One motorcycle had a sidecar with a white lady blindfolded in it. They helped this lady out of the sidecar and walked her over to what turned out to be a pre-dug grave. A shot rang out and they buried her and took off. Then the other Marine said, a few days later, our sergeant was on patrol and he came across a twin engine aluminum airplane under a shelter and they were chased away by some guys in strange US uniforms. Well, I concluded Amelia Earhart is buried there on Saipan. But after the war, the government continue to deny these Marines who are telling people that Amelia Earhart is buried on Saipan. In 1990, the program Unsolved Mysteries went to Saipan and interviewed an elderly lady. And she said, in 1937, I was 11 years old, and I was taking a shortcut through a sugar cane field, etc., etc almost word for word what this Marine had said to me back in 1944. Then Unsolved Mysteries went, I believe it was to Ohio, interviewed this fellow that said, 1944, I was a sergeant in the Marines on the island of Saipan. I came across this airplane and I was chased away by some uh, fellows in strange U.S. uniforms. Well, uh, can, the government continued to deny that this was possible. I believe it was in 2007, Amelia Earhart's uh, niece obtained a replica airplane and succeeded in flying around the world. When she landed at the Lockheed Base uh, Airport in uh, California, there was a big celebration. A newspaper reporter found an engineer there who had been on the original airplane and was called back out of retirement as a consultant on the replica. So the reporter asked this engineer, is this replica the exact duplicate of Amelia Earhart's? And he says, oh yes, everything, the engine, tires, everything. He said, well, there was one thing different on Amelia Earhart's we had to insert one of those big spy cameras, and that was quite a challenge. So I trust if you you have a Sherlock Holmes mentality, you'll see why uh, what happened to Amelia Earhart. I published, I wrote this up in a column for the Roseburg Beacon. The day the column was published, I got a phone call from a fellow that said in 1944, he was a storekeeper on a ship that stopped at the island of Saipan. He had business with a civilian who spoke good English. After they conducted their business, the civilian said, by the way, do you realize that Amelia Earhart landed here in 1937 in the need of fuel? And the Japanese executed her. So the fellow called me and he said, until I saw your column, I didn't complete the, the puzzle, but now I see what happened. So, as the saying goes, I report, you decide, thank you.